Well, in this video, we'll explain how to use Ride Mobi, an awesome dockless bike sharing system currently in 19 Italian cities, and the system is growing. In this video, you'll learn everything you need to know to get started using Ride Mobi. How to set up your account, how to, uh, how to start a rental, how to end a rental, and what to do if something goes wrong. Ride Mobi has two types of bikes, a standard three speed, and an electric bike with a 350 watt helper motor and enough battery to take you about 70 kilometers if it's fully charged. More about that in a minute. Both bikes have fenders, a basket, a kickstand, and an adjustable seat. Neither bike has a suspension and <laughs> it's something that you feel when you're on these bumpy uh, streets here in Italy. To use Ride Mobi, the first step is to download the app from the, uh, the Apple App Store or the uh, Google Play Store. You'll need to have a uh, cell phone number that can uh, receive SMS messages here in Italy. It can be an Italian number, a US number, a number from anywhere, any place in the world. Look in the notes for this video for a link uh, to a video about how to set up phone service in Italy. Click on the payment button and uh, tell Ride Mobi how you're going to pay for your service. I usually put about five or ten euros at a time on my Ride Mobi account. Well, the next step is to find a bike, and while the app can help you with that, I have found that the best way to do it is just to go ahead and look around, <laughs> you know, where you are, because there's probably one nearby. One thing the map doesn't tell you is the state of charge of the battery and you may uh, go ahead and scan to unlock by scanning the QR code either in the front or the back of the bike and find out that the, um, that the battery is not going to last for the amount of time that you want to take the bike. Watch out for cars, buses, and especially pedestrians. The electric motor engages when you start pedaling. If you need a little boost, press this little uh, boost button right here. It's helpful for going up hills. You can ride pretty much anywhere you want to ride, even outside of the service area of Ride Mobi, although uh, you can only stay outside of the service area for up to four hours. When your ride is over, though, you got to park in a, uh, in a safe parking space inside the service area. That's indicated on the map, by the way, the map in the app. Uh, you go ahead and park your bike. Uh, I usually find a bike rack or park it next to other bike mobies and ride Moby bikes and uh, go ahead and uh, and click the button for end the rental. It locks the bike and uh, then uh, it asks you to take a picture of your <laughs> of the bike so showing where it is. If there's any question about where you left it they can uh, they can come back at you. Uh, I've had no problems at all with uh, with where I park it. I They've never uh, ding me or anything. However, I have heard of people who have parked outside the service area who have been charged uh, 10 euros to have someone go pick the bike up and bring it back. If you have a problem with rental, click the repair button and uh, report the repair that's needed. Well, try out Ride Mobi the next time you're in an Italian city that has, uh, has the service and let me know how it works for you. Drop a comment below and tell me about your bike sharing experience.